In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use the spatula spreader. I love the spatula spreader and we use it multiple times a day at my house. In fact, we have multiple of them because we use it for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. It has this unique cut coat double D edge on there, which makes other hard jobs very easy. And it has this unique flexibility, which makes it easy for scooping out peanut butter, mayonnaise, and so on. A popular food in most households is avocados. If you don't like them, I'm sorry. But for everyone that does, just going around the pit, turning it like you would an Oreo, taking that blade, you can, uh, I recommend this maybe on the cutting board if you're not used to this, but you could do it in your hand if you're used to it. Church key that. We can go right through and easily make avocado sections, or you can even use the dull side to pre-cut and then scoop your avocado right out of the shell. This also makes easy work for bagels and cream cheese. That Cutco Double D edge, it literally goes right through there. One of the common issues with the spatula spreader is that it's underused. Please pull this out more often. It's not just for spreading icings on cakes. Literally, spreading cream cheese on bagels has never been easier before. For everyone that loves their peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, their PB&Js, BLTs, or just sandwiches in general, the wide blade makes for easy scooping and perfect easy spreading every time. Simple things like dessert, like Rice Krispies, brownies, and dinners like lasagnas and casseroles, easy for cutting, scooping, and serving. I hope you got a lot out of this video and I look forward to seeing you in our next one. I wanna hear from you. What do you love using the spatula spreader on most? And what questions do you have about this? Just post them in the comments below. We'll see you in the next video. And remember, it's not the food that you serve on the table that matters most, it's who you share it with.